Louisville comedian honors contract by performing for Empty Showroom. Couple quick announcements for you. Uh, please take the uh, table talk down to a minimum. And uh, please, uh, if you gotta make a call, please go outside with it. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, it's now time for your headliner. Oh, come on, everybody, you can do better than that. Are you ready for your headliner? All right, you know it from CMT. You know him from Maine in America. He's best known for the revenge on the telemarketers. Give it up for Tom May! What's up? I get it. I get that he's got a contract to fulfill and he's got to do his time and show still goes on no matter if there's a coronavirus or not. But what I don't understand is why he's making me set up the merch table. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Man, it is good to be here. I barely made it here. My flight got canceled because a, a, a flight attendant was showing like flu-like symptoms. So I was forced to uh, book a last minute flight to Southwest. You ever flown Southwest? I didn't, I didn't know the lay of the land. And I, I go, where do I sit? She's like, sir, you, you, you sit anywhere you want. Which is cool because I'm always gonna sit in the cockpit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm up there. I'm wiping the coal pile down with Lysol wipes. And who's he pointing to and fist bumping? There's nobody there. To tell you the truth, last time I opened for him, there wasn't anybody there. You gotta wash your hands, people. You gotta wash your hands. Oh my. Oh, they're... They want you to wash your hands. I'm in the bathroom here at the caravan and it had a sign that says, uh, employees must wash hands. Like, I'm a grown man, I wash my own daddy on hands, you know what I'm saying? All right. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of used to uh, small crowds anyway, so. And, and here's the deal with the coronavirus. They, they, they just don't want everyone getting the virus at the same time. It's gonna overwhelm the hospitals, whole zombie apocalypse and stuff. Because I mean, for real, Diana, you, you buy me up on this. Diana, she owns a club here. Uh, if, if we would open the doors, there's a chance two or three people could have gotten affected. Maybe one. Because, you know, you got the guy in the kitchen, he looks, he, he's, he's suspect, so. He is so professional. He does an excellent job. Every time he's here, he always brings the laughter, the funny, an excellent show no matter what happens. I'm trying to be healthy, man. You got right now the coronavirus. You got to be healthy. I, I joined a gym. My wife is like a workout fanatic. And she's like, honey, you, you got to confuse your muscles when you go to the gym. You got to confuse your muscles. So I tried it. Other day, I'm going to the gym, and right when I get to the parking lot, I'm like, psych! <laughs> I went to Cracker Barrel. I confused the heck out of them, man. Shake and bake. <laughs> yeah! I believe this is one of Tom's best shows. We normally get a lot of complaints, but we haven't had any. My mom needs an operation, and uh, I got these CDs for sale. Uh, they're uh, one for ten or two for thirty, and if you buy two, you get a free roll of toilet paper. So, <laughs> guys, I love you, Tom. Abe. Thanks for your time. I'll see you over here. Appreciate you.